Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma bar habati fillah. A question was asked, Assalamu alaikum Ustad. If a person misses the Friday prayer three times consecutively because of work, does he become a kafir? Meaning, does he become a believer? Uh, a question, this question has been asked to many of the ulama, so I thought it would be befitting to read from the fatawa of Sheikh Saleh al Ghusan Ghasun, Rahmatin Wasiya, one of the major scholars, uh, former majors, Hayat Kibar al Ulama, uh, from the major scholars here in Sa Saudi. But to a short answer, of course, it doesn't make it, there's no relationship with you leaving the Jumwa prayer and you becoming a disbeliever. So, no, it doesn't make you a disbeliever. The Sheikh was asked, Salat, he said, Salat al Jumwa Farida, Salat al Jumwa. Uh, the Jumu'ah prayer is an obligation. So the question, Al Jumu'ah Farida Um Sunnah, is Jumu'ah an obligation or is it Sunnah, meaning that it is something that's recommended? Uh, the Sheikh responded, Alhamdulillah, Salatul Jumu'ah Farida Ala Kulli Rijal Al Muqimin Alladina Laysu Min Al Musafirin Al Balagin, Fahiya Tajibu Alayhim. Madamu Mukimin fi Belid. So he first began, he said, Alhamdulillah, praise belongs to Allah. Uh, Salatul Jumwa, it's an obligation upon the men that are not travelers. They're Mukimin. Okay, so they are they re, they're residents. Uh, those who are not travelers and who are mature, meaning that they've reached the age of puberty. He said, Fahiya Tajibu alayhim. Madamu Mukimin fi Belen. And it is a, so it, therefore it is an obligation upon those ones uh, to pray the Salatul Jumwa as long as they're not travelers. Fahiya Farida wa laysut sunnah. It's an obligation, it's not the sunnah. And he uses evidence. He said, the Prophet Sallallahu said, Men taraka falatha jum'in tahawinan biha taba'allahu ala qalbihi. That uh, in a hadith in Akhraju uh, Abu Dawood wa Tirmidhi wa Nisa'i wa Ibn Majah wa Darami fi Sunanihi min hadith Abi Ja'ad al Dhumari Rahimu uh, radiallahu ta'an uh, that whoever leaves off three Jumwas out of laziness that Allah will seal his heart. So he says, from this evidence, he says, وَحَرَامْ عَلَى الْإِنسَانِ أَنْ يَتَخَلَّفْ عَنْ صَلَاةِ الْجُمْعَةِ لَا يَتَخَلَّفْ عَنْ صَلَاةِ الْجُمْعَةِ إِلَّا إِنْسَانَ غَيْرَ مُوَافِقِ وَمَحْرُومِ مِنَ الْخَيْرِ فَكُلَ إِنْسَانَ بَالَقْ مُكَلَّفٍ وَهُوَ مُكِيمٍ وَلَيْسَ بِمُسَافِرٍ وَلَا مُرِيد مريد فَإِنَّ عَلَيْهِ أَنْ يُؤْدِي صَلَاةِ الْجُمْعَةِ Madama Anuhu Karim in Al Masjid. Wa yumkin and you sali ila masjid wahiya farida. Fine. So the Shaykh he then says after this hadith, he said that this is uh, impermissible for any person, meaning a man that is mature in those other conditions we mentioned, he's not a traveler, to not pray the Salatul Jumwa, to miss it, you know, especially missing intentionally. And, uh, and and Salatul Jama'ah uh, except for and this only happens to a person who is doesn't have the tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know they don't, they don't, Allah hasn't favored them with this great favor of being able to pray Salatul Jumwa and that this person is being prohibited from goodness prohibited from khair mahrum al khair he said so every person that is uh, responsible, immature, and he is not a traveler, and he's a resident, and he is not ill, and that it is upon him uh, to pray the Salatul Jumwa as long as he is close to the masjid. So he mentioned, as long as he is close to the masjid. So that's a very important point because really when you think about the context of this fatwa, that's all I'm going to say aside from the Sheikh's Kalam, is that uh, he's talking about generally 
what is taking place in uh, Muslim lands where masajid are everywhere and the land is a land of Islam but as Muslim minorities a lot of times you're even further and there are many many there are much fewer uh, options uh, regarding the masajid and praying Juma. so as the Imam said that uh, as long as it is close as long as a person is close enough to the masjid meaning if it's a very difficult thing maybe a kid who's in high school and he doesn't have a car to go to the masjid or or whatever the case may be or it's very far from your job and what have you then you should strive your best uh, as as many other ulama have made fatawa about this issue to uh, pray uh, you know, find a job if, if it's a job that's preventing you that will allow you the Jumu'ah so that way you're not consecutively and constantly missing Jumu'ah and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil